G'day ZKD here, back with another Overwatch video. A teaser was released a little while ago showing off the silhouette of a Russian professional bodybuilder hero upcoming in Overwatch. Having played the hero at Blizzard HQ during the recent media hands-on event, it's been pretty funny watching the speculations, especially surrounding the gender of the new hero. Well, here you go guys, say hello to Zarya. Together we are strong. Zarya is an ex-world champion female bodybuilder hailing from Russia. When her hometown was attacked by crazed robots, she put down the barbell and leapt into battle. Using her brute strength, she ripped off the particle cannon from a nearby robot and used it to defend her comrades. After this event, she joined the Overwatch organization so that she could help defend the weak around the world. In the game of Overwatch, Zarya is a tank and a support. She's incredibly tough, can shield herself and an ally, and comes equipped with a deadly close-range particle cannon. This particle cannon has two modes. On the left click it has a channeled short range beam. This is pretty short range, kind of a little bit longer than a lightsaber essentially. This deals moderate damage so it's great for taking out squishy targets like Tracer or simply punishing enemies who hang around in combat with Zarya for too long. On the right click the particle cannon instead fires a glob of particle energy over a short to medium range. This gives Zarya some AoE damage to deal with clustered enemies and soften up targets who are camping outside of beam range. On the shift key, Zarya has a personal particle barrier. This is a medium duration, full damage shield that blocks everything. It's primarily to protect Zarya herself from heavy incoming damage, but it can also shield allies by blocking shots if she positions herself in the line of fire, like for example in a doorway. On the E key, Zarya can apply a similar particle barrier to one ally. In the build that I played, it was possible to have both shields up at the same time and they had separate cooldowns from each other. So although these shields are only personal bubbles, it's possible to block a lot of incoming damage by having one on yourself, one on an ally, and using them well with good positioning. Now the more subtle feature that you may not have picked up on if you just watched the gameplay tutorial is that these particle shields absorb damage and actually store it as power within Zarya's weapon. This charge amplifies Zarya's own particle cannon damage, so although her damage is only moderate by default, she becomes absolutely deadly after her shields have sustained some damage. As such, Zarya's shields not only protect herself and her allies, but they also discourage enemies from attacking for fear of simply making Zarya stronger. Like the Hulk, attacking Zarya just makes her angry. Zarya's ultimate ability is the Graviton Surge. When fired, this creates a large AoE gravity well that sucks in all enemies and allies into the center. This skill by itself just displaces enemies, but it's a huge playmaker as it can group up enemies for destruction by your teammates. Or you can just use the Particle Cannon's AoE to kill them yourself. You can be a little bit more creative with this skill as well, and do things like using the Graviton Surge to pull enemies off of cliffs. When Overwatch goes live, I expect to see some seriously epic plays made with this ult. I think it's going to make a lot of Play of the Day videos. During my trip to the Blizzard HQ, I played about three games with Zarya. She can really get in enemies' faces, and when you annoy them enough to provoke them into attacking you, you can just pop your particle barrier to absorb the damage and go from being annoying to actually being deadly. She feels like a nice blend of tank, support, and when played well, she can even lay down some serious DPS. Camping objectives and blocking doorways are where she shines, though I expect highly skilled Zarya players to be able to be much more aggressive and push out towards the enemy. Skill cap will likely come down to communication and how well you can keep your damage boost up through well-timed shield use. Her core playstyle seems to be pretty friendly for beginners, so I expect she'll be a great starter choice in general. I hope you guys enjoyed my look at Zarya. I'm really liking where Overwatch is headed, so I plan on making a lot more content for the game. If you'd like to catch that content, make sure to subscribe. That's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.